everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Cave Story Plus. My name is Thalon, I play video games, and in this episode, we are going to be looking for Kazuma. In the last episode, uh, I'm really great at introing, by the way. Uh, Sue was captured by King, thrown in a cage, and she asked us to go and save her brother. Uh, we got our max missiles increased there, perfect. Uh, let's try this door. It won't open. Help! There's someone in that crevice. Hey, you boy! I need to get out of here. Would you, uh, please help me? Sure, thanks. Please take this. We got the rusty key. Okay, perfect. So, this is actually important that we get this rusty key. We can presume this is Kazuma. So, uh, looks like there's no keyhole in there. Let's go ahead and kill this enemy, actually. We won't be able to access a lot of the stuff for now until we actually activate something. Uh, I do want this extra life canister, though. It's come in handy. So, kill this enemy. You can just shoot him over and over. Grab this life capsule. Perfect. I say perfect a lot. Don't judge me. Yeah. Okay. And so I keep on getting achievements, uh, Juggernaut, and I'm waiting for it to f fill up because every single time I grab a life capsule, whether I'm playing uh, this uh, file or my other file, <laughs> it counts toward it. So whatever it works. So we want to go ahead and save and heal one more time now that we've got the rusted key and that extra life capsule. The reason for that, we're going to come over here, and what this sign says is power supply room. Well, we can see that there's these giant fans down here, and we want we want to use those, essentially. We, we need them to get places. Oh, I'm pushing up. Use the rusted key. All right, we're in here. Oh, cool. It's a room full of robots. Now, let's go ahead and check this out. Fan power supply offline. Macro power supply offline. Chirp power on? Yeah, we need it. Power is on. Ooh, the robots boot up. Intruder sight. Oh, great. Another boss fight. Well, bring it on, robot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you know that the Mimigma I found wasn't Sue? Yep. Yep. She wasn't Sue. Because of that, the doctor was extremely upset. Misery received quite the beatdown. Pity, since she's just a girl. Well, the master can't be disobeyed, so that's our fate. This time, I'm here to break you for real. Better prepare yourself. Better prepare your anus. So, uh, I actually really like this fight. Oh, uh, crap. Uh, I really like using this, uh, the fireball for this fight. Because if you use the fireball, you can actually get rid of a lot of his attacks. Um, you want to keep this fight pretty close quarters, actually. You wouldn't want to in most other fights with him. But you want to in this one. I'm taking a little bit of damage, but as you can see, it's a lot easier to hit him. It's a lot easier to take out his... Um, even after two level downs, I'm able to t still take out all of his attacks. What are you? Well, we already defeated him, which is great. Defeated Balrog. Two HP. When I practiced this, I was down to one. The head's been crushed. Ugh. The body is jammed into the floor. Do you want to pull its body out? Sure. Well, we'll help. Th thank you. You are a good person. And on top of that, so strong. Thank you for saving me. I would like to do something for you to express my gratitude. But... With that, you, with that said, I am only capable to make bombs. You want to open the rusty door? What? Someone is trapped inside? You definitely are a good person. I understand. Let's us make a bomb then. We will demolish that door. Please locate the following materials for the bomb. Charcoal, jellyfish juice, and gum base. Let us make the bomb once, it, once all the materials have been amassed. So, if you remember from the last episode, we actually already have the charcoal. We know where the jellyfish juice is. The only thing we don't know where it is, is the gum base. So now we can actually use these fans, get around a lot easier. <laughs> More importantly, get back to this and heal. So I'm going to go and heal. Save. Uh, I'm really sad that the fireball is actually down to the first level again already. Um, I, I did not expect to take quite so many hits from ball run. Actually, the first time I fo uh, fought him on my practice file... So that was the last time. Uh, I fought him with the Polar Star, but halfway through, I switched over to the Fireball, and I realized how much more helpful it was. So that's also why we practice these things. Also, that's a sad thing. There's only a number, a limited number of Fireballs can actually be on the screen at a time. So you're better off using the Polar Star here. And then collecting the, the goodies, the experience. Afterwards. Got him. Cool. Okay. I'm gonna jump over. Kill those guys. Okay. 
I'm gonna make this a long jump. Whoop! Ow! Okay, I deserve that. But now, if you notice, we can actually get over this area a lot easier because the fans are on. So we actually uh, don't need the jellyfish juice to clear out the... Why can't I think of words? Uh, to clear out the fire in the fireplace. So let's go and switch it over again. Again, using the polar star to defeat these enemies. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and grab the gum base, and then I'll meet you guys back over um, with, the ro or with the robot area, and then we'll go from there. All right, so I'd recommend saving here. Go ahead and save your game on your way back. The reason I say this is because I'm going to be making a 10-minute cut of footage I'm taking out because I died like three times, and I'm really sad. I wanted to go through this whole Let's Play without dying, and I thought I'd be able to do it. But to put on... Come on, just die, please. I'm not in the mood anymore. I only have 9 HP now. God dang it. Okay, I like how that bat got off a cheap shot. Okay, see that's the jump I kept screwing up, but that time I make it because I saved. That's honestly got to be the reason. Okay, so we're making back, we're making back some progress. Okay, jump over this, and bah, blah, blah, blah. I didn't want to deal with it. Okay. So we're we can jump back down here, and luckily we made it back. So let's go and save. One more time. Actually, I'm going to heal. And save. And apparently refill again. <laughs> I love it when I do that. It's kind of funny. Okay, so we went ahead and killed that enemy. Took some more damage, because why not? I want your free experience. I'm actually just going to experience farm here real quick. I want it. 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 Okay, here we go. See, I have to make a 10 minute cut is going to be kind of a pain. But anyway, it's rusted as usual. <laughs> what? Use a bomb on that door? I guess that's a possibility. So you're looking for the materials. Did you say gum base? Wait a sec. Take this. And he passes us a gum key. A gum key. Okay, it was hanging on the wall. The word gum was written on it. I'm sure it must be related somehow. I'm counting on you, boy. All right, well, let's go ahead and we'll take out some more enemies. Yeah, look at, look at all this experience we're rolling in. Okay. We're going to go ahead and use the Polar Star right now because, I don't know, it seems like the best choice. I don't want to take damage from this guy. Okay. And looks like this area is ready to go, but I, I have a feeling I'm missing a thing. I am missing a thing. I walked right past it. So what you want to do is you want to come up here on this fan. Whoop, little controls are a little funny when you're flying through the air. Like an eagle piloting a blimp. And you wanna come in here. You send something. Sense something. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the treasure chest. Ah! Max missiles increased again. And another boss! I killed it. Empty. Well, the enemy is empty. I don't even get a description about it um oh i guess if you look here red flower flower or yeah red flower petals litter the floor okay so there are red flower petals all over the floor hmm maybe it's a clue maybe it's not okay actually i feel like i should go heal actually i'm gonna go heal i'll be right back Alright, as you can see, I'm making my way back through here. I'm being rather careful about it. Um, the reason I say be careful is because I would recommend having full health for this boss fight that we're going into. Alright, so... Okay, killed him. And killed the other scrub. Okay. So, be careful! Insta-death below! Alright, if we talk to this guy. So, let me tell you something. If you hold down the jump button while being propelled by a fan, you'll go even higher. Well, thank you. I already knew that. I actually didn't explain that. I guess it was kind of self-explanatory, but you know, whatever. So we want to save one more time. The reason, more death. More de insta-death, actually. I should... Oh, there's health over there. I never even realized that. You know what? I made it. Awesome. All right. So you want to be ready. I like to use my fire star here. It's really nice. Let's go in here. 
this room looks very boshous. Anyway, chest, open the treasure chest. We got the gum base! Yes! Oh, hi, Misery. Hey! You again. Do you remember me? That's right, in Mimigma Village. I didn't notice at the time, but now I remember. Aren't you that soldier from the surface? I don't know how you were able to stay alive. Misery! That's the enemy! He might even be stronger than you, Misery! Is that so? Well, it's a good thing this soldier is your job. Break him for sure this time, then come back. And he turns into a giant frog. So, uh, things to keep in mind in this fight. Stay high, shoot all the little baby frog things if you can. It's a great idea. And then fire your lasers when he does this. On the more uh, damage you can do to him when he has his mouth open, the better. Uh, the little guys do give you rockets, uh, so you can use those rather than the fire star. Uh, I've done that before even. These guys also drop so much experience, it's not even funny. Come on, open your mouth again. I just want you to open your mouth and not take damage. Okay. Okay. So he's getting some invincibility there. Oop. I'm just going to hang out up here. I'm actually going to switch over to my... Not the fire star. Okay. I'm glad I didn't switch over yet, actually. See, if you look, the rocket does so much damage. It's amazing. Also, it's raining men. Okay, it's raining frogs, but you know, whatever. Okay, kill all the enemies, kill all the enemies on the ground. And laser jump. And we got to level up. Come on, Balra, go down, please. Okay. Not quite yet. He's almost there. He's almost there, guys. Whew, 9 HP, 9 HP. Ah, uh, we did it. Yeah! I mean, I just showed the basic strategy of what you want to do there. But we defeated him again. We defeated Balrog. He reverted back to his standard look and let's head back and jump man jump okay just bye ripperoni ripperoni to you too ripperoni to all these enemies that live down here thank you i'll take your level ups ah everything's maxed out again great all right so, last order of business for this episode is make the bomb. Kill that frog very expertly. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to heal just in case and save. Because that was a boss fight that we just finished. And I think we're almost done with this episode. Alright, so we go back to the robot. Have you gathered all the materials? Ah, it's some charcoal. And jellyfish juice. And gum base too. I will commence making the bomb immediately. So he makes the bomb. And he gives it to us. It's complete. We obtain the bomb. Now go and blow up that door. We will, Mr. Robot. Mr. Robot Captain, sir. Yeah, I don't like that big frog up there. I'm going to take the low road. I like how I'm taking a lot of damage, though, going this route. All right. Well, as much as I'd love to go ahead and blow up the door, it gives us a long sequence of... Uh, lettering and stuff. Is that bomb ready yet? <laughs> anyway, I want to leave you guys in wonder as to what's going to happen in the next episode. My name is Thalon. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye I'm just trying to hurry our way back through the egg corridor. We're in a rush. Uh, the world may hang in the balance. It could. I don't know. It might actually do that. Oh, hey, dude. Die, 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 die. I don't like how they can actually go through. So this is a fabled companion to everyone's best friend in this world. Okay.